So think about your thoughts and feelings about the elderly as I play this. Can you hear this in the back? Okay, so this is a song I sang for my wife at my uh, wedding luncheon. And, well, you'll see. Make you smile whenever you're sad. Carry you around when your arthritis is bad. All I want to do is go over you. I get your medicine when your tummy aches. Build your fire when the furnace breaks. Oh, it could be so nice going over you. I miss you, I kiss you, give you my coat when you are cold. I need you, feed you, even let you hold the remote control. Doesn't happen. Let me do the dishes in our kitchen sink. Put you to bed when you've had too much to drink. Oh, I could be the man who grows old with you. Who grows old with you? I want to grow old with you. Yeah, with the song and the picture, it makes you think. In fact, when I took, first put the picture on, the sound was, oh, I even got some guys. And I never get guys. I even got some, oh. <laughs> you know, I, it, it, sometimes I guess it could be the guys could say, dude, it's kind of cool, you know, oh, except I'm going, oh. But that's the feelings you got. OK, good. Now, these are all positive things. OK, now I'm going to contrast this with the song called, oh, I hate old people. I'm just kidding. That's not a song. <laughs> OK, so now you're going to have maybe put a line underneath your quiz, underneath your, yeah, underneath your quiz, and then you'll have number one. And I want you to do is draw a picture of what you think of when you hear the term elderly. I'll give you about two minutes. I'm not looking for detail. I'm not judging based on artistic ability. Just your, what first comes to mind when you think of an elder, or the term, and you hear the term elderly, okay? So number two, here's number two. Now I want you to just, right off the cuff, what are the phrases you think of, or terms, or words, when you think of an elderly individual? This is number two. So you'll have number one picture, number two, Phrases or words that you think that first come to mind when you think of an elderly individual. That's, we'll stop there. Okay, now here's some pictures that other college students have drawn, and we're going to psychoanalyze them. Okay. So, starting here with the uh, reptile. Um, or the worm, I'm not sure. But this person automatically thought of wrinkles and no hair. Glasses, notice there is no smile. Um, so this is very, I wouldn't call this a positive one, but then this one is a coconut <laughs> with a glasses and a smile. So he's smiling and he's declaring to the world that he is old, he's not a coconut, okay? And then, um, well, he's got the glasses. So I think those are wrinkles as well. Uh, yeah, that's my guess. Okay, so here, this is very well drawn. If I was grading on artistic ability, this would be the winner. Um, but there's a frown, and notice the collared shirt and the vest, and then this is the ninja old man. <laughs> Actually, in previous semesters, I didn't know what that was, and I thought they looked like swords, so I'm just like, he's going to go, <laughs> But then some, it's a wheelchair, so. Okay, so now I want you to identify stereotypes that you hear. So I'm this. supposed to go down to Florida next week after we're done here. That's where all my uh, relatives live. I don't really want to go. Florida, a lot of old people down there. You know, they live in those minimum security prisons. That's where they put all the old people. What's with all the security there with the guard gate, with the arm coming down, everyone's got a uniform, guns? Are the old people trying to escape or? Okay, the minimum security prisons, they might be trying to escape. Any other stereotypes? Don't pay attention, not just with driving, but in general. OK, so here's some more. I want you to pay attention to some more, OK?
My parents live in Florida now. They moved there last year. see, very subtle, good catch. See, the, the person drawing it put in a bunch of things besides what Jerry Seinfeld said. So yes, they like their fiber and prunes, okay? Any others that you saw? Hmm? Dull and boring, and you saw that in the office, right? When the old guy came in, did you notice like five seconds into his thing, his spiel, uh, people just started nodding their head and like, oh man, this guy's gonna go off on a tangent. Boring. So Jerry Seinfeld said the same thing. Have, have, have you experienced, and I don't want anything too uh, like coarse or malicious, but um, all of you probably in some way have experienced discrimination or prejudice, whether it was gender, religion, race, anything like that. So maybe be willing to share. I'll start off with my wife. Anytime she goes to a home improvement type store, they talk to her like she has no idea what she's doing. They talk down to her, and her dad's a can build houses, he's a carpenter, he can fix anything. My wife is amazing at fixing things and building things. I mean, trust me. She built all of our shelves in the basement. I came home one day and she had the nail gun out. She's like, all done. And I'm like, all right, I guess I'll just go make dinner. <laughs> so anyways, she, uh, I guess I'll just go sew something, something that's more stereotypical female. So we all get this kind of stereotype Sometimes. So, what have you experienced yourself that was prejudiced or discriminatory? You got one? Okay. Um, kind of along the gender lines, I was doing a lot of work down in the South, and uh, there would be situations where they would ask for a couple strong men to come from <coughs> something, and we were working on a team of and there were like seven women and then three guys. And one of the women would go, and at one point in time, there was an injured man that thought that we were so incapable, that the women were so incapable of moving something heavy, that mm -hmm. he went and hobbled out to the stove and then helped the guys move the stove because he wouldn't let me help, even though we all did like the same PT physical training stuff. So, oh, okay. Regular right. Um, and in some circumstances, they may argue they're just being a gentleman. Yeah. But there, I, I've seen. Yeah, that could be an underlying sexist thing, yes. Okay, any others? Um, are you willing to yell it out, or would you like? Um, one time my friends and I got pulled over. It was, it was like midnight, but we were just going to Walmart. Uh -huh. We were going to come back, and um, the cop like leaned in and said, I smell beer, like trying to get us to admit that we'd been drinking, and we hadn't been drinking anything. We just... How long ago was this? Okay, so they just assume because of your age. Yeah. Oh, I should have put age up there, obviously, ageism. But, okay, good. Jess, John had a similar experience. Can, can you condense it? Yeah, um, it was 419. I was coming back from the Ozarks. And uh, that was the day That's too much detail. Time. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a old lady in front of us pulled over. And uh, my buddy was like, oh, well, you know, flashing lights, you're supposed to pull over with the different guards. And I was like, well, okay. And I uh, pulled over. And then uh, two other cars passed us, so we decided to go along. And the cops immediately pulled us over and uh, let the lady go out for like five minutes or so. And then they uh, then they had the drug dog out, and they had the drug dog go all around my car, like scratched up my car. And then uh, they told us to detain the passengers and so we had to like wait by the police car and then uh, they had the police dog and I actually went into my passenger seat and I guess he smelled weed. This is where it all started to go downhill. And, <laughs> and uh, then the cops told me that where I pulled over back there they found a pill bottle full of weed brooches and where I pulled over up there they found a bag of weed. And they were like, well, explain. And I was like, well, Oops. <laughs> I mean, it, no, I didn't mean oops. <laughs> I mean, oops. I mean, well, oh. uh, uh, my life's over. <laughs> Tough thing. And I was like, sir, you know, it's not mine, it's not mine, it's not mine. You know, and I try to explain. I was like, you know, I'll pee test. I mean, you can get my hair follicles. I mean, you can do anything. And, you know, I don't smoke weed. I don't do any of that. And uh, he was like, well, you know, you know, you should just confess. I mean, it's just a little ticket. I mean, if it's your buddies, then that's just fine. And they uh, actually, like, badgered us and, uh, everything for quite a while and uh, after about an hour and 15 minutes they said well you know I, I believe that weed is yours but what do our dogs smell it and so I, was, I had to explain it again uh, that it wasn't mine they finally let me go and then like super trooper style they pulled me over again <laughs> and, <laughs> and uh, they 
then uh, wrote me a ticket for uh, failure to signal while changing lanes. Oh. $135 ticket. Okay. Yeah. Um, college student, right? That was the main thing. The, uh, All college students smoke weed. Thing. She didn't get a ticket or anything. She just got a warning. So. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All college students smoke weed. So accept that reality. Okay, let's get one more. That uh, is yes. Oh, oh really? Oh, um, go ahead. Talking to. <laughs> no, it was. Uh, <laughs> no, it was um, by Walmart, and I was I rolled a stop sign, all right, and the cop pulled. He was a pot county cop, and I was like, mm -hmm. oh, great, here we go. My wife's bickering at me. I told her she was stop all this stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, the cop pulls me over, and he's like, you know, I pulled you over because you California ruled that. Uh, Stop line or stop sign. Like, they call it that here too, California roll? Well, ironically, though, then I pulled out my California driver's license and handed it to him. <laughs> and Perpetuating like, the yeah, stereotype. He just looked at me and goes, fine, and just let me go. He's like, that's you... Yeah, swear to God. But wow. He saw the ID, he just was like, yeah, whatever. You people are supposed to do this. Supposed to do that, yeah. that is crazy. So. Number three, just write one of your stereotypes that uh, was busted today in the Mythbusters quiz. And write two or three sentences. And number four, write a response that you would give to somebody if you were older. So you can leave as you finish. Thanks again for a wonderful semester, and we'll see you next week.